community is really important. I think we're realizing that right now that we're all stuck indoors. And uh, that's why I wanted to remake a video series that I never actually finished. I started the first video, but now we're going to get through all of them. So what I want to do is teach you guys how to make your own forum using Discourse, which is a really nice, sleek, and modern forum software. First off, you're going to need some hosting, and you want a dedicated server using Ubuntu. It's kind of funny, I was about to switch over to UpCloud because I did a lot of tests from different servers. I wanted to get the forum back online, which you guys can see it's now back online. Yay! But I might be spinning up some more forms for different things like niche projects. We use a different form uh, for our game development and stuff behind the scenes. Almost serendipitously, like while I'm doing this, I get an email from UpCloud, and I was like, I was already looking at you guys. I had like three things on the on the screen and I'm like testing speeds and stuff. And UpCloud was all the way at the top as far as speed goes. So anyway, they messaged and they said, hey, why don't we give your audience $25 of free credit so that they can go on there, set up some servers, test some things out. And if you're using the basic server, $25 will keep you running for several months. So I was like, yeah, plus you're already going to get a free week. So head down to the description. You'll see a link that will take you to UpCloud. Uh, or you can just go to UpCloud and use the coupon code Tech Syndicate. But anyway, in this video, uh, we're going to start off with a community and we're going to finish the community. So in the first video, we're going to set up the server. We're going to set up the email server that you're going to need for uh, Discourse. It's actually easy, but there's a lot of steps. So just follow along and then we're going to get to the fun stuff in the second video. We're talking like themes and configuration files, plugins, uh, and just fun stuff that you can do with your community. And one more thing I want to say while I'm on my soapbox, right now we really need community. We're, we're isolated, right? And we go on to, to like social media and there's really no niches. Everything is just general and people don't feel that sense of like clicking and belonging and becoming part of something that's specific to what you love. So that's what the beauty of making your own community is, is you can have just a few people and you don't need a million people liking all your content. If you only have two or three or five or six people or whatever, just a few people, and you're all interested in the same things, you can have a lot of fun on your own community. So I want to encourage you to do that, especially if you guys are all gaming together. Set up a forum for yourselves and uh, have some fun. I'm going to assume you already have a domain name. So if you don't, go get a domain name first, get all that ready to go, get all that spinning up, because that's going to have to be ready uh, for this. And then we're going to go to UpCloud and uh, set up a server, get the IP address, and take it from there. So, so once you're into UpCloud, just go ahead and click on Deploy Server. And then you can pick where you want your server to be hosted. A lot of different options here. If you live in the middle of like Pakistan or something, and you're running an English language website, maybe put the server in London or the USA. So just put it wherever you think your audience might be. But also, you know, find something that's kind of a compromise for you because you're going to be uploading to it and all that as well. Now, when you're doing the trial, you can start off with the uh, the $5 a month. But since you're going to have the $25, if you wanted to, you could do two cores, 50 gigabytes of storage. But this is going to meet the minimum requirements of Discord. So I'm just going to do the basic $5 a month server because that's all you're going to need. Uh, and as your community grows, it's really easy to come in and resize your servers. There's no headaches. You're not going to have to like redo everything from scratch. You just come in to UpCloud and say, hey, I need some more resources. And it'll throw some more stuff at it. So you got all your options. Like I was saying, if you want backups, you can turn those on. Backups are a pretty good idea, in my opinion, um, especially if you're running a very active site with a lot of different users. It's a really good idea to have backups. Now, you can have backups internally in your discourse. But this will be a server level backup, so it's nice to have redundancy. This is going to be completely up to you guys, but I think it's pretty reasonable there. Go ahead and do the $5 a month. And then when you scroll down here, um, you're going to want to leave this for, for Linux. Just leave it on Vert.io. For this, we're just going to need Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu, I know 19 and that sort of thing, that's all out right now. Uh, but the version of the server we're going to use is compatible with 18. So just use that one, you'll be fine. Um, and, you know, you could even use 16 if you wanted to. It'll work just fine. But we're going to be fine with uh, Bionic Beaver. That always sounds like a device you can order from an illicit website. And uh, this is something you can turn on and off. It's going to be completely up to you. SSH keys, you can add those. You can also access it easily using the, uh, the username and password they give you. I was able to SSH into that, no problem. I'm going to give this a name so I can remember this. Let's uh, be the Epic Forum. This is extremely fast. One of the main reasons I went with UpCloud you hit deploy and then like you're going to be online in no time, y'all. Now, when you first start here, what you need is your IP address and you don't need to see me anymore. I'm going to get out of here. So go ahead and click it and that copies it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go over to your registrar, wherever your domain is hosted right here. I've got epicpants.com we're going to be using for this and you, you can make it epicpants.com. You can just 
pointepicpants.com directly to this IP address if you wanted to you know, only have a server. But since Epic Pants is the store, I'm gonna make a subdomain here. Epic.epicpants.com is going to be the, uh, the server. And there we go. So we're pointing epic.epicpants.com at this IP address, right? And also you can see over here your time to live an hour. I don't wanna wait that long. Make sure you make the time to live just one minute. And we've made our A record. So Discourse is just a GitHub repository and it's really easy to use. In fact, most of you don't need this video. And even if you don't need this video, I just wanted to encourage you to go ahead and set up a community. That's the main thing that we're doing here is talking about setting up some niche communities and getting back to that and away from like Twitter, Facebook, and all that nonsense where everything is the same. And there's a couple things I like to do that are not on the list here. So there's that. Let's talk about your options for mail because you have to have mail for discourse, right? So Mailgun is what I typically recommend because you need to be able to send messages to people saying like, hey, you got a new thing or click here to verify your, your account. So Discourse has to have one even for the installation. So if you already have your own email server or another way to do this, then disregard this portion of the video. If not, I'll show you a couple of different things about Mailgun. So you come to Mailgun, set up a new account, right? And then you're going to need to create a new domain. Just go over to domains and create a new domain. After that, you will need to input all of these DNS records um, and you'll need to go back to your DNS zone editor, wherever that is, whatever that may be. It, they'll give you instructions right here on the website for like, you know, how to do it. And then, hey, check, 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 check marks. Everything's done. So you may have to wait a little while for everything to show up. It took mine about an hour for it to go live, but uh, some DNS servers will go live within a minute. And you can even go over here and check, you know, like, hey, go live in a minute. But just make sure you come over here and copy everything thoroughly. The record type, MX record, host name, and then, you know, values and that sort of thing. So this one, for instance, I'll do one just to show you, but I'm not going to insult your intelligence and do them all. So this one's an MX record and it's epic mail at epicpants.com. So all I need is the epic mail. And then it's going to go to mxa.mailgun.org. So make an MX record, epic mail. Epicpants.com. I'll make it go live in uh, one minute. And it's MXA. Oh, the priority is 10. So you do that, you create, and you just keep doing that. Some of them are going to be text, which sometimes have a very long string that goes here. And then other times it'll be an ASC name record. Just follow all this until you get all check marks. And then your mailgun will be up and running. And mailgun used to be free, so everyone recommended it um, for just basic accounts. But now it's moving to a new payment model where it's going to be 80 cents for a thousand messages. And for a lot of you guys, 80 cents is not going to be that big of a deal. But bigger websites are going to end up paying eight to ten dollars a month if you're sending lots of messages, or if you have the option to let people get email notifications whenever someone you know replies and, and whatnot. So that's going to be up to you. All right, so when you open up your console, this is what it looks like. Uh, pretty easy. Your username is always going to be root. And then the password was emailed to you. So if you don't see it here, just check your email and you can grab your password. We've got our prompt. We can do whatever we want now. First thing I want to do is make sure that our keyboard is set up correctly uh, for whatever part of the world you're in. And sure enough, I just pressed the dash button and the equals plus button and I'm getting uh, not the right thing. So I'm going to need to change my keyboard for whatever part of the world I'm in. You may or may not have to do this. My layout's 104 key US keyboard layout. It's really, really easy to change your um, your layout. Just reconfigure my keyboard. If yours works fine, then don't even worry about this. But here's how you do it. DPKG dash reconfigure. If the dash is coming up as plus, it's going to be the question mark on US keyboards. It's DPKG dash reconfigure space keyboard dash configuration press enter and then we can pick our keyboard mine's 104 key generic just you know pc keyboard and then pick your language of course and then this just going to be default and i don't need a compose key if you need a compose key then good on you all right so now you're going to need to reboot because you've changed your keyboard layout the easiest way to do that is just to type reboot So the directory we're in is actually, uh, we need to go back one. So you want to call directory cd space dot dot to go up one. So now what we need to do is make a new directory for discourse so we can clone the repository into that. And the directory we're going to need to make is going to be inside 
the var var directory so mkdir space var slash discourse make sure it's there by going to cd space var hit ls to see all the directories and there we are we have our discourse you can go ahead in there if you want to doesn't matter there's nothing in here now because we need to go ahead and pull the git depository and put it here but before i do that i want to upgrade ubuntu just to make sure we're all up to date so i'll show you how to do that really quick this, is, this isn't something that's part of the step-by-step -step configuration you know so when you're, you're going through this it won't actually have this step but i'll show you how to do it anyway all right so just go ahead and type apt apt you select the right window apt dash git update space dash y pulling all the uh, updated package information. All right, now we want to run an upgrade to make sure everything's up to date. So the same thing we did before, apt git upgrade space dash y. This will take just a few seconds, hopefully. And if it takes several minutes, that means a lot to update. Now there are some dependencies for um, Discourse that you're going to need to install, but don't worry, Discourse will install all of those for you. If you have any special reasons to install your own version of Docker or your own uh, version of Git or anything like that, you can do that. But I would usually recommend just running the Discourse installation and letting it take care of installing Docker and everything else for you. It'll it'll be really quick and easy that way. So you can do that. But uh, really, if you're running something other than Ubuntu. Uh, which you know this is made for ubuntu but if you're running anything else as long as you've got docker you can pretty much get this working you're going to be on your own with other distros you know like red hat and mx linux or whatever you're going to be on your own with that so with ubuntu it's going to be just like this all right let's get down to business make sure we have super user i type in sudo dash s okay all good uh now we want to clone the repository into this and it's pretty easy you just type git clone and then you type the URL of the Git repository you want to clone into this directory. All right, so that's going to be the URL for the depository. So after we've done that, you want to press space, and then we're going to type the directory uh, where we want to clone this. And this is good practice because if you're if you're in some other directory, it'll make sure that it clones it to the right spot. So I'm going to make sure it goes to slash var slash discourse, and then press enter. It's going to clone it right here into this directory. When I type ls and press enter, you'll see, hey, look at all that stuff. All right, let's get Discourse installed. Go back to your console, your terminal window, whatever it is. And uh, then you're just going to navigate to the directory. Dot slash discourse dash setup. Press enter. I've already done it once, but uh, we'll do it again. And one thing that's cool, if you want to change your email settings or something like that, you can always just rerun the Discourse setup. You can do that at any time, and it'll rebuild. If you just want to do a rebuild of the application, you do that differently, but this will do the same thing. First off, your uh, host name. It's going to check the domain name now and make sure that everything is set up properly. Make sure your IP address is pointed to your server and that Discourse can talk to everything. So. As long as that goes through, you're all good. If it doesn't, go back and check your DNS settings. Make sure you put, put in the IP address correctly and all that. Email admin account, this is going to be for your discourse installation. So use an email you want to use for that, whatever it is. All right, next up, your SMTP server address is all going to be for Mailgun. So these are going to be your Mailgun SMTP settings. Just use that as reference and go ahead and put it in. And this will be different depending on what email service you're using. If you're using Mailgun port 587, it's totally fine. All right. And then your SMTP username is from, again, Mailgun or wherever you're using. All right, your password. If you get it on Mailgun, it's going to be a very long password if it's auto-generated. It's tedious, but uh, go ahead and type that out. It's like Windows serial number. You have to do it once. And then after that, after you've typed it in once, as long as you typed it correctly, um, and it's there already, just press enter and it'll keep the information. All right, so next up we have our let's encrypt options. And by default, Discourse is going to uh, set it up as HTTPS. But if you want to have an email address just for your let's encrypt, you know, reasons, you can do that. So I went ahead and did that. And that'll be my email address to associate with let's encrypt so we can get the SSL going, have HTTPS and all that. All right, it'll show you your settings there and you can look through everything and make sure everything's correct. It takes a few minutes to install, so just give this one, you know, good look. And if everything's good, press enter. If not, press in for no. All right, this is going to do a build now, and that'll take maybe 10 minutes or so. 
maybe less. Actually, probably a little less than that. So just make a coffee and hang out for a minute. All right, so our installation is finished. Everything's done. It's now the uh, moment of truth. Time to go over to the website and try it. Epic.epicpants.com. Hey, check it out. Now you can just go ahead and register. It's going to have the email address right there. Yep. And uh, put in whatever password you like. It's going to send you an activation email just to make sure your email works and also, you know, so you can activate your account. But this will also be the same experience that all the other users go through, so it'll be nice to uh, check it out. And after you click the activation link, you're good to go. Go ahead and uh, click activate. There's a little uh, thing you can go through here if you want to get your site set up. You know, you can name your site. Sure. A lot of you guys, public will be fine, but you guys can have a private community and then you can set it up so that um, other members can invite or only the admin can invite people. So pick the one you want. Either one's fine. All right, you can set this up any way you like. I'll skip this for now. This is pretty cool. You can pick your theme to start off with. And of course, we're going to go with a dark theme. In the next video, we're going to go through some of this stuff and uh, customize a few things. But right here, we can go ahead and install uh, some stuff. So let's just... Uh, right here, you can check out some of the most popular themes and components. And we'll, we'll cover that in the next video. So get to that. And then if you want to have um, an icon, you can upload it now. Let's go ahead and use my Midnight Dojo stuff. Sure, looks fine, whatever. And there's no option to turn it off right here. You gotta do that uh, somewhere else, but whatever. Stupid emojis. Here you can invite a bunch of people. Invite all your friends. And now we're gonna be greeted with our forum. Yeah, it's first time. We'll show you this stuff later. There we go. First topics are already there. Quick start guide, you guys can go through that. But what I really wanna show you is in the admin section. And here we're gonna go through some of the customizations. And also I'll cover plugins. Plugins, um, Customizations you can just install right here, very simply. The plugins you're gonna to have to do a little more on the back end and then do a rebuild of the server. But we'll show you how to do all of that in the next video. So again, remember to say thank you to UpCloud for the $25 of free use and also the seven free days. So make sure you check out that tech syndicate is the coupon code and that's in the top of the description. Also head over to epicpants.com and grab yourself a t-shirt or maybe a mouse and keyboard why don't you one of these yes it is lovely y'all we'll see you in the next video let me know if you have any questions and maybe i can cover those also in the next video see you then